thank you for joining me today today we are doing a July flip through okay um, if you don't regularly watch my channel and you don't watch the today in my bujo playlist which I will link up here in the corner um, I made this book okay um, and I'm experimenting on making the books and getting better and better with it um, I made this book using Tomway River paper and cardstock and um, yeah decorated it myself and it's, it's it's all my own it's all my own work don't you know so I thought we'd do a July flip through these are the challenges that I chose to do in July okay there was two drawing challenges this one here was Harry Potter based and this one was based around 1969 so there was Woodstock there was hippies there was uh, you know Volkswagen camper vans um, rain mud <laughs> a stage with drums and microphone and and hairstyles and grateful dead dancing bears and you know, all that kind of stuff was on here this was just um a word or, or something to do with summer so we had summer sunshine palm trees sunglasses sunscreen bikinis oceans waves all that kind of thing and i lettered this okay this is an envelope i made just to hold paperwork okay my son's about to go up to primary school and i had quite a few letters from the school in preparation for this this is my monthly timetable i color code everything again i will link that up in the cards so that you can see what i mean by that and how i use that to structure my journal this is my weather timetable so each day i try to record the weather and that's pretty much it sunrise and sunset is also recorded on here this is my tracker um, my tracker for the last couple of months hasn't been great this and my chores tracker hasn't been that great um, my fiance died in June so it's, everything was a bit up in the air but you know we, we soldiered on as best we could again um, this is I pull a tarot card each day and again I missed bits when things got bad and when things were hard so you know some things have to give and that was one of them this is my mood tracker the cones are pain and the ice cream is my mood yeah that makes sense excuse the child in the background i don't know what you're saying oh, there you go um this is my sleep tracker and my steps tracker so i would put in the hours that i've slept here and then i would put a bar graph in to say how good it was and this was based on how i felt this is based on what my fitbit tells me and me remember that i wake up in the night and whatever this this that's what this is this is based on how basically how i felt the next day i might have only got four hours but i might have had a really really good night and feel great the next day or i might have slept loads like this one and feel pants or not quite so good you know it was only semi good but then i've got you know a couple on here where i didn't get a lot of sleep I only got about three four hours and yet i considered it a really really good night because i felt good i woke up i felt refreshed and all that lot so there we go this is just my steps tracker and I just record the amount of steps and the miles according to my Fitbit. This is my chore tracker. I designed this. This is um, available to buy. If you're interested, let me know and I will sort you out with it. Okay. Um, it's a digital file. Okay. That I don't send you anything hard copy. It's, it's a PDF file for you to print and use as many times as you like. But let me know. I did used to do it through Etsy, but quite frankly, their fees are absolutely outrageous. Um, I have my monthly chores here. And then each day, I do, again, my chores went to pot. My house is a complete and total disaster area, really, over the last couple of months. You should see June's. It's dreadful. <laughs> um, I had one day, I think, that was Monday just gone, where I did everything. One day. And that was it. This is my a word about today. A word on today. So, you know, um, we watched WW Extreme Rules on that day. Um, I had my bathroom done on that day um i planted some flowers there was wimbledon you know all, all that kind of thing it's it, if it's a poignant word about the day it's gone in here this is week 27 i like to decorate my weeks with a bit of washi i've been zentangling the numbers recently i quite like this format i may change it up a little bit throughout the summer holidays because quite frankly i don't do a lot you know there isn't a lot going on this month the the calendar for august is quite bare and i don't really you know i might just do a weekly on one page and leave it at that i don't know yet we will see uh but yes wimbledon started um 
my summer to stay and play. Uh, this was a this was a bad week. Uh, this was the week that we had the funeral for my fiance, so it was a pretty blank week. Um, yeah, this is week twenty nine. My son's last day at preschool. <gasps> yes. <sighs> Uh, week 30 and the first half of week 31 simply because the second half is in my August book this book was purely for July okay then we move into my journal like I say it was based on Harry Potter so we had the snitch we had the summer of love and the word was summer the next day we had the broom the word was sunshine and the peace logo Palm trees, Woodstock logo, and I believe that's just supposed to be a potion bottle, is it? Potion bottle. <laughs> we actually have potion bottle on here twice, I didn't realise. Potion bottle and potion vial. But, um, this was my son's sports day at preschool. This was the badge he wore. He got a little medal. I had to do an acid face that didn't come out very well. And a wand. And yeah, the word. You got a medal. And the word was fireworks. Um, a daisy oh, crown, yeah. the goblet of fire, and pool. Uh, hairstyle from that era, the t the the oh, sorting hat, yes, and oh, swimming. Yeah. Howler. I am really pleased with how this came out. I managed to get the red really vibrant. Tomway paper tends to, when you put watercolor down, it tends to sort of fade it slightly. Uh, it, this took about four coats to get it this red. It just I don't know what it is it just soaks the, the water up really really well it's lovely to paint on but it does dull the color so yeah this is supposed to be a Grateful Dead dancing bear I'm really sorry if it fans of the Grateful Dead and tanning was the word uh, one of the flying keys a tie-dye t-shirt and mermaids Mommy, is that word okay a cauldron groovy man and beach was that word um, a witch's hat, some musical notes, an ocean, a uh, Hogwarts letter, a um, headband and waves, an owl, tambourine and surfboard. This was a little sticker from some snag tights that I bought. I will link that review up in the corner. And uh, this is me and Daryl dressed as Spider-Man. Well, he's dressed as Spider-Man. I'm not. I was dressed as um, Spider-Man the um dark mark woodstock or bust and sandcastle is the word for that one then it was a cannabis leaf the deathly hallows and pier a lion a hippie peace out man and flip-flops um my dog went to the groomers this day so there she's looking all pretty and this was the bow that they put in her hair afterwards um a badger the number 50 and towel this is my son's last day at school and I had to do daisies and yeah. the eagle and sunglasses. There you go, there is Cheeky Green with his medal on. We were just about to go out and these are his name tags from school. This is, a, I made somebody some socks and this is the receipt for me posting it to her. Um, a snake, sun hat and make love not war. I also had my um, a dermal piercing done in my cheek that day. Um, Cerberus. VW van and sunglasses were the word and I got a photo of my cat cutting my son's arm <laughs> this is <laughs> this is just something I did as a bit of a giggle uh, these are some of my favorite meals I love chicken on crew it's delicious but I tend to eat like a whole pack which is two of them and I put on here um, I did a I've got a die cut of a doily which came out really really well and some foil from chocolate so I put we really need to cut down on all the dis deliciously unhealthy foods we've been eating it's making us both fat and my skin is dreadful I have psoriasis um, healthier smaller portions ahead we've not been doing too bad since here actually this is something else we love which is chicken and bake beechwood smoked ham pies they are lush if you've never had them before and now my tag won't go back in my let my tag go back in so I just put that in as a bit of a giggle um the saturday was um now it was supposed to be janice joplin harry potter glasses so i combined the two because i figured they were much for muchness really weren't they <laughs> pretty much the same so i did harry potter glasses with the pink janice joplin lens and the word was bikini we went out for a walk with the dog and he raced her home but she wasn't having any of it because she was hot and tired but and i won and you won um 
on this day it was new york state the lightning scar and drinks and also my son alex had been driving for a year on this day's year anniversary of him passing his test uh the 22nd i had my bathroom floor done this was a before and this was an after it looked lovely you put um white laminate flooring across the floor and then we also put a panel we made a panel out of the remainder of the flooring for the side of the bath totally changed how the bathroom looks it's so much lighter it's brilliant um lsd was the um prompt as was a house elf so while i used dobby as a reference it's not quite dobby which i'm quite pleased about actually because i didn't want it to look 100 percent like dobby and he's got a sock uh the word was boating Uh, we had a massive storm Tuesday on this night. It was, it was epic, absolutely epic. We were outside in the garden for about two hours, and it was constant lightning. It was like being in a disco. It literally just flash, 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 flash. And everybody along where I live, the street where I live, we were all out in our gardens, all talking to each other over, the, you know, not like looking over the fences, just sitting in the garden, going, "Wow, did you see that one?" And oh, look over there! And and, and oh my god! And, and my new neighbours were like, "The aliens are coming!" I was uh, okay. <laughs> Three days of peace and music was the prompt for the Woodstock one, and a ginger cat was the prompt for Harry Potter. Um, the word was barbecue. I also bought an alphabet punch board. Link up in the cards if I've still got room. <laughs> yeah, I bought an alphabet punch board and a tab maker um i haven't yet put tabs in this book but there you go i've started in my new book um and this is a card from the place where i get my nails done um this is photograph because i didn't have room over here this is photographs from the night before um the prompts were a rat and a dashiki and i just i just couldn't be bothered to draw it it just seemed like far too much effort so i just didn't bother and the word was snorkeling this was also the day i found out rutger hauer had died um he died the week before but this was the day of his funeral and this is when it was released to the press so in red i wrote the um end speech from blade runner um which happened to be my fiance's one of his very favorite films and he could recite this out of his head i can't so i'm going to read it i've seen things you people wouldn't believe attack ships on fire off the shoulder of orion i watched sea beams glitter in the dark near the tannhauser gate all those memories will be lost in time like tears in rain time to die thursday was a chocolate frog mud and rain and the word was fishing friday i went out with my mum and i, I realized while we we're out that i don't actually have an awful lot of photos of my mum in my journal and i should have because she's my mum so i took a selfie um butterbeer the who logo and frisbee that was you as well yeah there's a daryl and frisbee was the and word mom, and, mom, and, me. and then the next day my daughter daryl and i went out for a bit um and it was the carnival carnival and that's ian that's not ian that's neil um it was the carnival in sandown and we went there <laughs> during the day to see what was going on and it wasn't a lot did you just knock that off no, no? okay um a mandrake was my i'm really pleased with how well that came out really pleased with it and a stage and the word was volleyball i did a little stamp there um on saturday evening the um i went to watch my brother-in-law which that's him there neil um wrestle and it was their first production and it was brilliant and this is the poster from here outcast pro wrestling it was we had a really really good night and then i also had a booklet from sandown carnival so i sort of made this into a book i sewed it into the poster so it's all attached like it's a signature which i thought was quite a good idea um this is my son i got this photograph the next day this is my eldest son um dancing footloose at the carnival which i was quite pleased with the prompts were um a bow truckle drums and tide pools again i'm really really pleased with how this came out really pleased <laughs> this is my pick me puff and he's sparkly because pick me puffs in my book should be flipping sparkly i mean look at it it's awesome a microphone and seahorse a potion vial cool man and a starfish and then that says posca pen spooge because the next day i did a harry potter cake 
and I did a uh, chocolate watercolour and then I used a Posca pen, a pink Posca pen to write Happy Birthday Harry and I wanted to get it really really pink, it looks amazing under that light but it's not, it's actually quite faded and I went over it a few times and then I picked my book up late and the pages were stuck together from the paint and I was like ah! and it had <laughs> so gone through, I was like ah! Um, granny glasses and that was all I could find online for granny glasses and dolphins was the word I did a test page of some stamping and figured out that second stamping or ghost stamping that is where you uh, on your ink and then you stamp it on a scrap piece of paper then you come in here is the best thing for it because this is archival ink and um, distress ink new ones so they're quite juicy and they've all bled through quite badly the archival ink but then the rubbish bins there were also stamped in archival ink but they were secondary stamped so i stamped it on scrap piece of paper then i just came straight over and stamped it in here they've come out perfectly well and they haven't gone through and that's what i did that in that was the secondary stamp as well so yeah and that that's it that is it all done now we're going out it's turned out to be quite a chunky book so I'm looking forward to seeing how my next book will turn out because that's going to span a couple of months <laughs> so yeah so there you go I um, I hope you enjoyed that it was, it was quick <laughs> it's uh, yeah um, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below we like comments don't we yeah, yeah? if you click the book you'll be subscribed okay. and if you hit the bell subscribe down below and you'll be notified when we upload new content thank you so so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this take it easy guys see you later <laughs>